New York City, the mecca of boxing, St. Patrick's Day. And what a treat we have coming up now as Michael Conlon gets set to make his pro debut. He's got the backing of his country and he's carrying the hope of a nation. Obviously everybody feels pre-fate pre nerves, but you know I'm ready to rock. I'm coming for the entertainment here. Keep your eye on that aisle, which is an unusual entrance for a fight in this building. But what an entrance by Michael Conlon with Conor McGregor by his side. And this place is absolutely wild right now. So we're getting set to go. Tim Ibarra and Michael Conlon. The fanfare is over. Now it's time to fight. And let's see what Conlon has. Crowd will ooh and ah off every punch that Conlon lands. There he goes to the body. There's a good, good combination. Body. Right, he's close, but he's just a little bit off. That time a little short uppercut with the right. That now he's good. got him up against the ropes. To the body. Solid body blow. Good combination. He's landing solid body shots. Huge right hand by Conlon. He scores with an uppercut. Now he switches to southbound. Scores with the left hand. And referee Benji Estevez steps in and stops the fight. And Conlon celebrates. TKO round number three. Michael Conlon. Michael Conlon with a lot of Irish pride in the house on St. Patrick's Day at Madison Square Garden. It was it was nerve-wracking, but at the same time, I kind of think I handled the pressure well enough for a debut fight, and uh, I look forward to going on and doing bigger and better things. I do believe I'll be Ireland's greatest ever fighter, and I'll be a three-bit world champion. And you know what? This is the start of something great. Look at this atmosphere, look at this crowd. Where else in the world would you get it?